in this sagittal section of the head identify the scalp and the skull under the skull identify the dura mater recall the five layers of scalp skin connective tissue layer aponeurosis loose areolar tissue layer and the pericranium in the skull identify the outer table and the inner table identify the dura mater identify the two layers of dura mater endosteal layer and the meningeal layer the two layers have got separated out to form the superior sagittal sinus identify the tentorium cerebellum between the cerebral hemispheres above and the cerebellum below in this specimen bones of the skull has been removed leaving the meninges and the brain identify the dura mater the arachnoid mater which is thin layered on the surface of the brain and the pia mater lying underneath the arachnoid mater attached to the surface of the brain between the skull and the dura mater lies the extra dural or the epidural space between the dura mater and the arachnoid mater lies the subdural space between the arachnoid mater and the pia mater lies the subarachnoid space the dura mater forms a felix cerebri between the two cerebral hemispheres and a tentorium cerebelli between the cerebrum above and the cerebellum below there is a opening in the tentorium cerebelli for the brain stem identify the arachnoid mater over the surface of the brain when i detach it from the surface of the brain the pia mater would be on the attached to the surface of the brain going into the sulci blood vessels will lie between the pia mater and the arachnoid mater in the subarachnoid space you can see blood vessels inside in this specimen of the brain this whole area is called cerebrum this is cerebellum cerebrum consists of two cerebral hemispheres on either side left and right cerebral hemispheres and the diencephalon hidden between the two cerebral hemispheres in the center to see the diencephalon you have to separate the, the two cerebral hemispheres diencephalon consists of thalamus hypothalamus epithalamus and subthalamus cerebellum also has two cerebellar hemispheres this is the brain stem area the surface of the brain has got sulci and gyri some sulci are given names this is the central sulcus this is the lateral sulcus 
This is the parieto occipital sulcus. And this is the calcarine sulcus. Sulci divide the brain into four lobes. In front of the central sulcus lies the frontal lobe. Between the central sulcus and the parieto occipital sulcus lies the parietal lobe. And below and behind the parieto occipital sulcus lies the occipital lobe. Below the lateral sulcus lies the temporal lobe. In this sagittal section of the brain, identify the frontal lobe in front of the central sulcus. Parietal lobe between the central sulcus and the parieto occipital sulcus. And the occipital lobe behind the parieto occipital sulcus. Identify the temporal lobe on the other side. It is separated from the parietal lobe by the lateral sulcus here. Identify the central sulcus. In front of the central sulcus, this gyrus is called precentral gyrus. The gyrus behind the central sulcus is called postcentral gyrus. Precentral gyrus is also called motor cortex. Postcentral gyrus is also called sensory cortex.